Back on MLB now, Scott Braun, Steve Phillips, John Heyman, Tom Verducci, the winning play of the day. This is insane. Ryan O'Hearn, win probability added 34% with this go-ahead two-run double in the sixth inning against Seattle. Who are my mathematicians on the desk here? Anyone know how many runs were scored in this sixth inning alone? 11. There you go, John. You win. Early trivia. 11 <laughs> runs from the Kansas City Royals, and it caps off a 3-7 and seven stretch for Seattle against really kind of the bottom of Major League Baseball, and they have been struggling mightily. Yeah. Julio Rodriguez is on the injured list now, and I have to start with John because he's been, you know, the biggest Mariners guy for years now. <laughs> Big fan. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're going to make the playoffs, though, John. They are going to make. And at the beginning of the year, did you think they were going to make yeah, the playoffs? Yeah, I did have them make oh, the playoffs. Oh, you did. Okay. Well, I figured they would do. It's been two <laughs> yeah. decades. I thought they'd make it this year. Yeah, now I mean, they have a good team. They, they, they have do. a lot of talent. They've made good moves. Obviously, Castillo has been the best of the moves at the deadline Rodriguez superstar they should make it now now they don't have a tough finishing schedule either right and they've got a four game lead over Baltimore they got to make it. Oakland Detroit they got to make lead it right? over Baltimore and it's really five because they, they don't the make it up because you're you are call me you actually are a legit Seattle yeah, I've been on the guy. bandwagon a little bit. I thought they were pretty good they're, last year. I think they're they're going to make it, though. They're going to make it. I Although I will say, for as much love as I've given them this year, Steve, I, I think they're playing their worst baseball of the season, which kind of stinks heading into the playoffs. Well, they are right. It's not great timing. But J-Rod's hurt. Julio Rodriguez hurt. Mm -hmm. Eugenio Suarez was out with a broken finger. Cal Raleigh was out for a period of time, too. So they don't have some of their horses that have been in there. Now, Raleigh's back in the lineup. Starting rotation matches up with anybody. Really good starting rotation. In fact, among the better ones in the American League, their bullpen has power arms that can overpower guys. A couple of guys thrown over 100 miles per hour. You've got some experience there. Robbie Ray haven't been through some of this before. But I look at their starting pitching and their bullpen, and they can go in and shut down good hitters, good lineups. And so and I, you know, they've got the ability to hit the ball out of the ballpark with some guys that can do that. So critical in the postseason. So I'm not discounting them. They may be going limping into it, but J-Rod's going to be back for the playoffs. And I think that all they need to do as a young team, they win a game and they start to get that thing going on. I'm not counting them out for making a run. It's kind of some similarities to what we were just saying with Cleveland where, yeah, the, the back end of the bullpen's strong. They play pretty good defense. They have some starters that can match up, except the offense is completely different. They can <laughs> run into a few and slug you. Yeah, they have power. Their, their bullpen reminds me of Tampa Bay where they come at you with different arm angles. They can match up a bunch of different guys no matter what the inning. So I'm with Steve on their pitching. They can shut anybody down. And fans have to remember, it doesn't matter how a team finished the season going into the postseason. This idea that you want to be hot, no, it really doesn't matter. We've seen too many cases where teams so-called limp into the postseason and run the table and play well. But the most important thing is health going into the postseason. That's where I'd be concerned, Julio Rodriguez. 21 years old, had to come off the field with his back locked up on him in the outfield. He had the back issue the week before. I know they call it a strain right now, but he's out 10 days on the IL. I wonder what kind of baseball condition he's in when he comes back with all the torquing involved in a swing. They need him. I mean, to me, he's their George Springer, what Springer was for the Astros back in 17, where he not only presents a threat on the bases and in the batter's box, he's their energy. He's their catalyst. He gets them going. I think they're a different team without Julio at the top of the lineup. Mm -hmm. So if you tell me they don't have a Julio, a fully healthy Julio the postseason, I'd be concerned. But the way they're playing right now, no, I'm not concerned. Yeah, and we're seeing that right now, though, without Julio. It just looks like a different ball club, more so than if anyone else was missing from the lineup for them.